Hello everyone. Welcome to my video tutorial for single cell RNA sequencing data analysis. In my previous video, I showed you how to download the cell ranger and install it on high performance computer. So you can see I log into my high performance computer account. In my long folder, you can see the cell ranger software. So today in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to analyze the raw sequencing data using the cell ranger software. So let's have a look at the 10 times genomics online tutorial. So you can see here, this is the website to show you how to run cell ranger count function. So we are going to use the 1K PBMC dataset for the demonstration. You can copy the link from here to download the data. So let's copy the link. Then we can paste it here. Now we can download the data. You can see it is downloading, it is very quick. Okay, we downloaded the raw sequencing data for the 1K PBMC data set. Let's have a look at the files, use the LS function. You can see now we have a file name pbmc 1 kv 3 faster kill file. So we need to extract the sequencing data from the ta file. So let's use the ta function. You can see we can extract the data from the ta file. Let's run. You can see the computer is extracting the data. It is done. You can see from the files name, there are R2 and R1. That means the sequencing data has two names. If we have a look at my files again, you can see now we have a folder PBMC 1K V3 fast kills. There are six files in this folder. Now we can remove the TA file. So we have the raw sequencing data. Next, we need to download the reference file because the cells in the PBMC data are human cells. So we need to download the reference file for the human genome. We can go to the 10 times genomics website again. You can see that the download center. If we click, you can see we can download the references. Let's scroll down. You can see here are the references. The first one is the human reference, CRCH38-2024. So we can use wget to download the human reference. If you are using the mouse data, you can download the mouse reference. Now we can download the human reference to my folder. We can paste the code again. Let's run. Again, you can see the computer start to download the human reference. It is very quick as well. Okay, we downloaded the human reference. Let's have a look at the files again. You can see here we have the TAGZ reference file for the human genome. 
Again, we need to extract the files. We can use the tar function again. So let's extract the files. If we run, you can see the computer is unpressing the reference data. Okay, we extracted the human reference. We can have a look at the files. Now you can see the folder for the human reference genome. We can remove the top three files. Let's have a look at the files again. You can see now we have the cell ranger installed. We have the PBMC one key raw sequencing data, we also got the human reference genome. Because I saved the cell ranger, the sequencing data and the reference genome in the same folder, my non folder. So first we can export the cell ranger pass using the export function. So let's clear my screen. We can use the help function to have a look at all the arguments in the cell range counter command. So you can see here is the usage for the cell range counter function. And down there are all the options for different arguments. So we need to set a ID. This will create a output folder under the folder name will be the ID name. We also need the transcript tom pass. That's where we save the, the human reference data. And we need the fast EQs pass. This is where you save your raw sequencing data. Because we are using the cell ranger software version 8, so you have to use the create BAM argument as well. Other functions are optional. We don't have to use it today. Let's clear the screen again. I have the code written. We can just paste it here. Okay, you can see we are going to run the cell ranger count function. The ID I named as run count one key PBMCs. This will be the files name where we save the output. And the first key argument is where we save the sequencing data. You can see that's the pass to the PBMC one key v three fast key folder. And the, the transcriptom argument is the pass to the reference data. You know in my non folder we save the human reference genome in this folder. And the last argument is create bomb files. We set it to because some of you ask me to show you how to create known files from BAM files for the spliced and the unspliced mRNA data. So now we can run the code to do the sequencing alignment. If we run, you can see the computer is running the cell ranger count function. I ran it before, it takes around 15 minutes for this data set. We can wait until it finish, then we can have a look at the files in the output folder.
Okay, so Ranger finished the analysis. It is very quick because this is the demonstration data set. So you can see now we have the output. We have the summary HTML file, the matrix summary CSV file, and the BAM file. This is the file that we can use to create the spliced and the unspliced MRNA data. Down here you can see we have the filter rate feature BC matrix, filter the feature BC matrix in H5 format, and the raw feature BC matrix, raw feature BC matrix H5 file. Then the analysis and and also it has the output for you to look at the analysis in loop browser. So you can see from the files directory, we created a run count 1k pbmc files in the num folder. We can have a look at the files in my num folder. You can see we have a output folder here. Let's go into this folder and have a look at the files again. You can see we have the filter rate feature BC matrix data. We have the BOM file. Again, we can go into the feature BC matrix folder and have a look at the files here. You can see we have the buckles TSV file. Features TSV file and the matrix MTX file. These three files are the files we can load into Surat or ScanPy to do the single cell on a sequencing data analysis. Okay, that's the demonstration today. I showed you how to download the demonstration data, one key PBMC data set and also the human reference genome file. Then use the cell range counter command to analyze raw single cell RNA sequencing data. So you can try to download the data and run the cell range counter command to see if it works for you. I'm going to stop from here today. Thank you very much for watching my video tutorials.